Hi. This is try a s m r. I'm sorry that I haven't made videos in a long time, and I want to make a video. It's kind of a song that I just made for fun, um, and the song wasn't even going to get uh, released to you because. I had it on unlisted, I thought, but I didn't. I just wanted to put it on Twitter and nothing more. But when I now have made it, it's not, a, yeah, I'm not a musician, so it was just for fun. Yeah, but I haven't made any videos in a long time because uh, I gotta work, a job as a teacher at the school that I really want to work at so I haven't had the time to make videos and I'm sorry and I hope you have a lot of other great or greater SM artists that you can go to so I hope you haven't missed me too much uh, but I missed you. Uh, yeah. I'm a, I don't know if I said, told you that, but I'm a history teacher at this school. And Samhällslärare, uh, it's called in Swedish. I teach about society and how politics and things like that work uh, in Sweden and also outside our country. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud to get the help I got, so yeah, that's why I haven't made any videos in a long time, sorry, but I will try to make some more now, and I hope you like them, but I don't promise because I have a lot, a lot of things to learn, so I can teach my students. Yeah. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, I worked as a photo photographer. I took photos. Uh, but I got a bit tired about uh, um, to do that because I like to take uh, more photos that are my own kind of photos and not like this generic boring photos so I didn't like to work as a photographer <laughs> I can't say it in English in Swedish it is photograph um, I didn't like to work with that so I stopped I stopped taking photos for maybe just for fun and like that for maybe eight, seven, eight years, and uh, now I want to start again. So I went out on the internet and bought myself a new camera. It isn't uh, the greatest camera, but it's small and it's with in interchangeable, changeable uh, lenses, and I thought like, oh. It's great, I want to change these lenses and try a couple of things and just play around and have fun. So when I bought the camera, I told myself I have to buy a camera that I can use uh, adapters like this. I don't know if you can see it good. This black, black. I can see if I can. can't see the peaking when I do it. Yeah. But yeah. Interchangeable lenses. See now if I can get this ones in focus. Uh, 
don't know if that's good. It's hard to see on this one. Oh, that's okay. Sorry. Yeah. So I bought these lenses and they were really cheap. So because I bought them on not eBay but uh, the Swedish version. That's called Tradera. And yeah, I don't know much about lenses. Uh, so I just clicked on them like, oh, that's seen fun. And then I bought it. So, yeah, I should have read a, a bit more about them. And I haven't time have time to use them. But uh, now my students is having Christmas ho Christmas holiday and things like that. So I have time to try them out. Some of these isn't that fun because. They are like okay lenses, pretty old, but not uh, but not that interesting in every kind of way. Can I see? Can I, I hope it's in focus now. So this one, I don't know much about. I couldn't find much information about it. So, but it, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I have to get a better way to look at my camera because I have my telephone looking at it. So, yeah, but it's a Canex F135 millimeter and f-stop is 2. 0.8 so it's okay when it comes to light and things like that. So yeah. Where's the focus? so you can see it better and I like put it focus there I think sorry everybody I hope it's in fo focus now I have to watch the screen again <laughs> I'm so sorry this wasn't that great way to show you I should have used the automatic focus lens. Yeah, that's okay. You will see it. And I should have used a higher f-stop. So the focus length wasn't that short. But I hope it's okay. This is a ramble video now. Yeah. But this one got the, uh, um, what do you call it? Iris, I call it. Uh, this one, f-stop that are de-clicked, or never was clicked. I will show you the difference. This is great when you're shooting film, because you want a fluid motion like this. Do you see? So this is great that way. 
that my camera is a micro four third camera. And what that means is that uh, if you look at this number, I don't know if you can see it here, it's 145, 35 millimeter. That means that it crops the image and zooms in a lot more. I think it's the double. I'm not sure. So this one is really, really near. Uh, just trying to remember English words. It's a TL. It's called in Swedish. On it. The lens I'm using up there is 28, so it's not much better because I get a pretty wide picture, but it's 30, 28, and when it's 28, um, it's around. 60 when it's in this on this camera so it's not 28 at the moment i have to use another camera for that yeah and then i have this pentax i read that it's okay because even though it's that cheap but this is clicking so here when I do like this, it's clicking, click, 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 click. Isn't that great to shoot movie on? Because it's yeah, it's a bit hard. But in that in this moment it would work pretty okay. But it, I think it's great. I haven't taken that much picture with it, so and I'm just. Uh, Happy amateur, so yeah. But now, here's two pretty cool things, I think. But I haven't tried them that much, so yeah. These two. And we can start with this one. This rectangular focus, please. Where's the focus? Oh. Yeah, I can't see the focus that good, but yeah, here's. See, this is. Oh. Okay. But the pretty thing, the cool thing about this one is that it's, uh, it is from. Soviet Russia, or I bought it from Ukraine. So it's a so lens from Soviet USSR. And I think it's a bit cool. I wonder what kind of picture was taken with this. Maybe some family had it. So it's, it have seen a lot of things in the world. So 
So, for me to knowing it will make it special. Not to anybody else, but for me, I think it's something I like. That I yeah, being in another part of the world that isn't Sweden. And that people have taken a lot of photos with it. Yeah. People have taken a lot, probably taken a lot of photos with this ones too. But they are Swedish and being Swedish is, isn't made in Sweden. This one is made in Japan, I think. Or, yeah, made in Japan. Made in Japan. This one. Is also from Soviet. And here you can read if there is still a problem with the focus bar. It's made in. Yeah. Take it near. I don't know if you can read it because you can see my screen is like this small. Oh, it's Mickey Samson. Yeah, my screen is this small and it won't use the focus peaking that is in the camera. But I hope you can read it. It says made in USSR. So it's a Sumi. And this is also declicked. I focus down a bit. See, this is clickless. I don't know the name, but it's an opening. So it's pretty great photos. And I like that it's metal. Oh. So yeah, are a bit loose, I think. But that's okay. I didn't pay much, so I have no problem with it being a bit loose. It's a bit loose here too. But not that. It's a problem for me. All these are old for me, old, but they are new. In comparing to them, ah, focus ring. It's a bit hard. So, have this Sigma lens that I have used a lot. It's nothing special, it's just a standard lens. No. This was to my first digital camera, the uh, AUS 300D, the first AUS camera. Uh, that was digital, digital, I think, if I don't remember wrong. Um, and it was then I started to take photos. And I've used it a lot. I'm not that. I don't care about if it uh, doesn't look too sharp. 
I like when it looks sharp, but I don't care that much because I'm taking photos for my own and not uh, for others. And I was working as a photographer. Um, I didn't use my own camera, so it wasn't a problem. I, yeah, I did. My first half year or something like that, I had my own camera. But later I had used cameras that someone else had bought. So it was haven't been the problem. Do you have something else to show you? Yeah, I can't show you my camera because I'm filming from that one. But here's um, the adapters. They look like this. And you just watch on the camera and then you take a lens and you line up this red dot with this red dot and you put them together oh, <laughs> if it's the right adapter so let me try again Okay, here, there's the red dot, mark, dot, mark, yeah, you know, I hope it's focus, yeah, that's okay, and, yes, this is a bit hard, so, and now it's stuck to it. And then you put it on camera, so you don't put it on camera first because you so have to turn it a bit hard. And if it's on the camera, it can break the camera. In worst case scenario, but yeah. Let's see if I have something else. This one's I have a Sigma too. One more Sigma. When I bought the camera, I told myself it has to be cheap, so I uh, went out on eBay and bought these adapters for not much at all, um, and I bought one part of it is on the camera, but this case also. And the camera is a GS1, and I think it's got a kind of retro look that I like. So, this is a case I bought, and it's only working with the standard lens. Just the standard lens. I haven't this one, so I have to. Make sure that isn't uh, dirty when I put it on camera. It's the same with all the lenses. But this is a pretty good standard lens. But a problem I have with it is... Okay, it's focus. Or I mean, it zooms a bit and I like that on the standard lens. So... We can turn it. But a big problem that all of these lenses doesn't have a, I don't have a problem with is that there's no focus ring. So you can't focus like this. And I have to focus like this, okay? Because that's important to me. Most when I'm filming, mm -hmm. I should use this today because you saw the focus is problem when I I can't look at the camera. But yeah, so the way you focus on this one is that you have to push a button on the camera or 
have autofocus, but you can only focus on the camera's display, and not like this. And I really have to do this when I'm filming, because the worst thing I know is when the focus is going like because it looks so bad. Yeah, but it's a pretty sharp and good lens, and I have um, image stabilization, so it's never a problem with how it's stable. But I like my cameras, and I'm looking forward to try out the lenses and see what I can do with them and how I can use them at, to my ASMR videos too, because it's fun to try things fast with yeah <laughs> with better focus, so I don't have to sit like this. Where's the focus? Oh no, where is it? This one have a great focus ring because it's maybe sounds a bit too much, but it's okay. Um, this one, it's pretty soft on one way but a bit hard on the other so you have to use some force i will see what i can do about that but not, but i'm not that te technical so i'm afraid to open it up and things like that so i will see if is it it's too hard to do it and then i if it is i don't do I see the time when the camera is running out, so in a couple seconds it this video will end. So I say thank you for staying there and I hope you're not yeah too disappointed that I have taken a long time. Goodbye.